I'm thinking I can't believe it took this long. I mean, really, it's a very common sense, small piece of the puzzle that will make a big difference. Uh, and for all those judges who, some are pushing back, saying that we don't need this, we, we understand the law. The truth is there are many people that are appointed to the bench that never take any sexual assault law training or criminal law training. Um, and after the fact, uh, if they take anything, it's very superficial. So look, this is a long time in coming, but we still have work to do in the Senate, uh, but we're all very proud of the work. The training is available. The problem is, is that people aren't taking it. The other problem is, is even though they, even if the Judicial Council mandates training for judges, um, the kind of training they're taking is too superficial. They also are not mandated to train, to take it before they actually, uh, you know, preside over a trial. Um, so there, there just isn't enough accountability in what they're suggesting. So what we're suggesting is taking it a step in the other direction and being proactive and preemptive in saying, before you even, to the justice minister here, before you even appoint someone to the bench, make sure they have the training. It's very simple. Lawyers take training all the time, and this will just be another course that they take training.